Hey everyone, Darren Carnell here. Welcome back to my studio. Um, as I started doing this video, I heard one of my... Wow, my moustache is getting out of control. I heard uh, one of my hard drives over there on my desk in the corner started going mental. And I've just looked it up and apparently it's indexing my computer and it's going mad. And I don't know if it's going to calm down because I'm now recording or if it's going to carry on and mess up my recording. Either way, I want to do this video now, so I'm not waiting. Wow, that, where is it? That bit just will not stay up. I might have to cut my moustache. <laughs> anyway, hello. Um, it's been a while. Um, it's been a combination of I've been busy and there's been some family illnesses uh, that we've been dealing with. Lots of hospital trips, stuff like that. Um, Everything's fine. We're dealing with it. I'm fine. It just meant that I had not as, much, not as much time as I wanted in my studio, not as much time to do videos. Uh, but hopefully, I should be able to start getting back to things now. Now, this video now um, is just about paint. As most of you know, those who have been following me a while, um, I have been using these MP paints that I used to buy from my local art shop, my art supply place here in Liverpool. And every month or so, I would go into town, pick up whatever colours I needed, come back and carry on. And they would last me for a month or two. Um, once I started doing painting tutorials on my Patreon account, and people were actually following my work to learn how to paint, I figured it would be a lot easier if people could paint along with me and have the same paints that I was using. Sorry, turn that music down a little bit, it's gone too loud. Uh, I figured it would be easier for people to use the same paints that I used, but these ones were not very easy to get. Um, I bought them from my local shop. I've only ever found one website, I think, that sells these online, but they're just not a very you know, wild, widely popular, widely available brand. So I thought, okay, I will change brands. I will change my painting uh, methods if I need to. And I will work with some paints that people can buy on the internet everywhere from Amazon or wherever. And that's what I've been doing. And I've been slowly, and it's because of everything, it's taken me a while. I've been slowly changing over I thought it would be a, a quick stop using these ones, start using the new ones, and it just wasn't that at all. I realized that I bought a load of these, and they were still usable, and I didn't want to throw away £50 worth of paint because, well, I'd paid for them. So what I was doing was I'd bought, or I'd got hold of, I bought some, and some of my patrons bought some for me. Um, some Vallejo paints, Vallejo, um, those ones. And what I was doing, I, I didn't know if they were perfect color matches. So what I was doing, if I was using a particular color with these ones, and at some point, one of them either ran out or what usually happens before that is the paint would simply dry up and I couldn't use it anymore. At that point, I would change over to one of these and try and find what color was the perfect match. Now, these, there's about 300 different color variations to buy from, so it's not as easy. I used to do all of my painting with, I think, 12 colors. I don't know, you can get hundreds of these ones. I don't want hundreds, I don't want to have every single possible color available. I just want to have the colors that I want to use, and I will mix my own colors, and that's sort of interesting to to help people along with as well, rather than just saying, use this particular color. So I didn't want to buy all of them, but I wanted to get good matches. So I would run out, I would use the ones that I thought were closest, and in some cases I would go, you know what, that's a close enough match. And in some cases it would be like, ooh, that, that brown that I bought, that I thought was a good match for chocolate brown or whatever, that's nothing like it. That's, I can't use that. That's completely different. And then I'd have to try and find which one was a good match. Now, what I've done, I've been doing this over a period of time, and I've just spent a lot of today going through it all. 
I have got most of the colors sorted now. <laughs> um, let me bring in my overhead camera and I will show you what I've got on the desk and we can talk about it a little bit. Whoa. Let's see, so that goes about there. Stop that wobbling. All right, let's go to the overhead camera with me in the corner. Come on, change. So, hello. All right, there's my desk. Now, so we've got all of these ones up here. And some of them are still usable. Some of them are drying up because I haven't used them for a while. I've got these Vallejo ones, which are um, spur ones that I bought while trying to find certain matches. And these ones were ones that weren't perfect. Um, actually, there's a color there. There's yellow ochre. That should be in there somewhere. Let's put that in there. <laughs> so these ones were ones that weren't perfect matches. These ones are ones that I think are going to let me carry on working, um, doing the same work that I've always done with the same sort of control that I've always done and not need to change too much. Um, I found some colours, because I would buy, let's say, some flesh colours. I was trying to replicate tanned flesh and pale flesh. Where's my camera? <laughs> these two, tan flesh, pale flesh. These are the two that I pretty much did all of my skin with. Now I would do a base layer with that. I would then mix in some of that to get a lighter color to do some dry brushing. Then I would mix some red into that and do some washes. Then I'd mix some purple into that and do some shading. But the base was done with those two colors. Now I bought, or I got, I keep saying I bought, I didn't buy a lot of them someone bought them for me because people are incredibly kind and I think people wanted to see me use these new ones so they're like Darren here's some paint get on with it um I bought some I can't I, I automatically just say I bought I didn't buy them I bought some of them I got <laughs> um a bunch of flesh paints I thought they're going to be perfect and most of them didn't match what I needed um clearly the way they have people painting um, skin uh, colours, the way most people probably paint miniatures, do it in a different way than I do with mine. And they were just none of the colours matched. I ended up finding one that seems to be a good match for tan flesh, and it's actually beige red. Why would I think to buy beige red? Actual tan flesh is nothing like tan flesh, <laughs> or not the colours that I've been used to working with. I put the wrong one there. You go there. You go there. Now what I've done, there's a beige red here, which is a good match for tan flesh. I've got ivory here, which looks like it might be a good match for pale flesh. In the middle, I've got a few extra ones, which are a few different shades in between these two. Where I would normally previously just mix those two together to make different shades. I have got a few extra ones and I may use them. I may go, you know what? That's got a little bit more yellow in it. That's actually quite useful to mix in. Or I may end up using these two and go, you know what? I can get everything from those and I will just manually add some yellow into it. I'm not sure yet, but I've got the main ones I wanted with a few extra either side. There's some white. I've got some red, which there's a match. Um, that was a match for bright red. Haven't so far got a match for the deep red, but I know that I can mix some blue into um, that one, and it gets roughly the same colour, so I can make do with that. Um, I don't actually need the two different reds that I used to use. If I find one, then we'll go back to that. Um, I've got grey-blue, which is just a match for the old blue-grey <laughs> that, that I used to use. Green, yellow ochre. Browns were a bit difficult to find because I needed umber, chocolate brown and leather brown. Couldn't find the right colours that match those. Still haven't got them perfect but I've got a light brown there which is almost a match. Let's get these extra ones out of the way. It's almost a match 
for the leather brown there. It's a little bit lighter, but what I can do, I've got, where was it? Oh, I've actually ordered a different one. These three here weren't quite the color that I needed. I've been doing some research online today and I have found a color that is a match for chocolate brown. Um, and I've got that coming. No, it's the other way around. Forgive me, I've got this all wrong. I've got a match for chocolate brown there, which is close enough to work with. The light brown that is close enough to work with, but not quite perfect. I found one that actually is perfect for that. That is on its way, which means that I will then be able to use light brown as a highlight color. So I will have that color. I've got the dark color there. There's a couple of extra ones in the middle, the same as there was with the, the skin. I may use them, I may not need to. And then we've got a dark umber-like color and black. And that sort of covers everything. I've got a yellow on the way. I've got a brown on the way. And I think I've got a black and a gloss varnish on the way. But that's it. And I think these will let me start painting now using roughly the same system that I used to, roughly the same techniques. And we should be able to go now. Now, what I'm going to do, because I still do have some of these paints haven't been opened and they're still perfectly fine, so I'm not going to throw them away. What I'm going to do, in fact, let me change back to my main camera and then I can talk properly without having to... Uh, that light is going to go where it wants to, isn't it? Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the paints that I've got... I don't want to throw them away, but I do want to start using these new ones. So what I think I'm going to do, commissions that I'm already halfway through, or ones that I've started, I am going to carry on doing them with my existing paints because it's a way to use them. I know what I'm doing. I've already started with these ones. I'm going to carry on with these ones. Any new commissions that I start that I've not done anything on yet or maybe not all of them i'll pick some i'll pick good ones that i think will be good examples of it i will start purely with the vallejo paints and see how it goes it might be difficult i might because i'm doing something completely different here i've used these paints for 12 years and no other paints i know what colors i need when i need to do certain things and i know how to mix them and i know how to paint a head and I need a head that's more suntanned or I know how to use these ones and I'm going to different colors that despite my best efforts to match them are different and they feel different and they have different consistencies and sometimes they're not quite as smooth as these ones and so it's it's going to be different so some of my <laughs> some of my first examples may be a little bit the, the process may be a little bit rough I'll get the end result because I always do. I got the end result when I was using rubbish paintbrushes. And then I got much better brushes. And I was like, holy crap. I didn't know you could get brushes that were this good. <laughs> but I always got the results. And it'll be the same with these. I'll get the end result. But it might be a little bit messy along the way. It might not be quite as, oh, I'm going to pick up this colour. And this is what I do. There'll be a lot of me going, huh, how do I get this now? But that's fun. We'll get there in the end. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Anything new? New paints? Anything existing? Mixture of old and new? And eventually I'll get rid of all of these ones. And then we will just be on the new ones. What I'm going to do, I already promised uh, that there's going to be one full um, series start to finish head paint using the new paints. Uh, public on YouTube for everybody, not just on my Patreon account um, where my normal full tutorials go. There's going to be one that goes on YouTube to show me working with these paints, hopefully getting a good result at the end of it. After that, it's going to be the usual, um, and I, once life calms down a little bit and I catch up on my work, I'll have more time to edit videos. What there's going to be is my usual 10 minute edit videos on YouTube that show the entire process start to finish, but in 10 minutes, just little bits here and there that let you see what's been done, 
but without necessarily sitting through 16 hours of painting. Um, and then for the people who want to see the whole process, who want to see a blank grey head turn into something that looks quite alive at the end of it, and who are happy to watch 17 hours of video, that's all on my Patreon. I'll keep that. I know it's quite involved, and I'll keep that on, separate on there. Um, and the people who are generous enough to support me on Patreon, essentially, let me do this for a living. And I couldn't be any more grateful, and I couldn't be any more lucky that I get to do this. Because there's not much else I can do. <laughs> so that's it. I just wanted to bring you up to date with the paints. Going to be on these soon now, thankfully. Got there eventually. Um, I will go now because it is the end of the day. It is dark out. I have to go and put the oven on and put dinner in the oven. Um, and then tomorrow morning I am back at work painting. Now that I've got these lined up, I should be able to just get on with it and get a load done quickly because <laughs> I need to catch up. So that's it. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for sticking with me. That was about 10 minutes longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, I will see you soon. Have a good evening or have a good day or whenever you're watching this, have a good week. That'll do. And I will see you soon. Take care. Ask me any questions if you've got any. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube and my Facebook page. Facebook's been a bit quiet lately because I've been dealing with life stuff. Um, but I will be posting more there again. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm working on, so there will be lots of projects that will be completed soon that can be, um, you know, pictures will be shown on all of my social media. And if I get time, I will edit some videos for YouTube. Uh, it'll be fine. We'll get there. <laughs> right. I am just looking at my screen because I need to see where my cursor is. Right. I'm going. Take care. I keep saying goodbye and going around in circles. Speak to you soon. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for being patient while I've been dealing with other stuff. And I will speak to you soon. I'll be painting tomorrow. So it'll be something probably that I'm painting tomorrow that will end up coming on YouTube. So stick around. Take care, guys. See ya.